Thousands of dollars gone. Scammers target home buyers, real estate agents, and brokers using certain tactics to steal your money. Catch Jeff Hayes on a weekday night or any weekend. We're not on the highway, we're not on Mopac, we're on South Lamar at the greatest rock and roll club ever built. <laughs> think this is his full-time gig. But instead of being a professional bass player, Jeff Hayinga's 9 to 5 yeah. is much different. How long have you been in real estate? 18 years. Never seen anything like this. And much more it's scary. vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Jeff had a house on the market. This house. Well, I called and said, hey, where's the deposit in the first month's rent? And they said, well, we sent it to one of your assistants. $3,600. And I said, well, I wouldn't have anybody doing that. I, I'm handling this myself. Gone. Uh, somebody cloned my email. Money. So it looked like it was coming from me. He couldn't get back. it said, please send it as soon as you can to this uh, place. Scammers have a new way to target agents. One that mortgage broker John McClellan says involves patience. It's that serious. How is this happening? It's either the, the seller, the buyer, a title company, a mortgage company, uh, the real estate agents, somebody's email gets hacked into. And they wait. So they intervene right before the end. The money, like many scams, gets sent worldwide. But the scammers themselves are sometimes in our own backyard. The KB Defenders found records showing accused scammers in Dallas faced 20 years in prison. Court records show they laundered $665,000, posing as a seller, targeting an attorney. Wow. Were they able to track all that and find each transaction? No. In Operation Wirewire, FBI agents seized nearly $2.4 million, which sounds like a lot, but they got away with $3.7 billion. For most people, this is the biggest transaction they're going to make in their life. At the end of the day, these families, uh, they're the ones that suffer. So right. Families like Melissa Spragans and her husband. You can see that the email has been changed just slightly. They almost lost money when a scammer posing as her agent offered a $500 discount if she could wire the money days before closing. You're nickel and dime throughout the whole buying of a house process, so we said, well, sure. I said, sure. Her husband said, wait. He reached out to our title company, and we found out at that time it was a scam. They almost lost $57,000. The number, yeah. That's huge. Yeah, yeah. We've seen multiple cases here in the Austin area just recently. He saw someone lose 80 grand. These evil people actually got this money. He works with his buyers to make sure they are aware. This paper signed by buyers acknowledges the scam potential. He then coaches. Get cashier's checks and take it a, a couple of days before closing that, or actually go to the title company and physically get the wired instructions from the title officer. And change passwords regularly. So make sure that everybody in the transaction has secure emails. Verify, verify, verify. It says another device signed on as me, so it just said. Jeff says he's lucky. Checked in on a, a different device. He like, only lost 3600 That's actually pretty good. Because the more time he spends here oh, yeah. making a living, well, just how lucky can one man be? I'm gonna love you forever, baby. Wait and see, gonna take my time. The less time he gets, I wanna do this right. Living life. We have those tips John McClellan mentioned online with this story right now, as well as links for more information. Head over to KVU.com and click on the Defenders section. For the KVU Defenders, Erica Proffer, KVU News.